Hello folks, welcome to Saving Miller. So, today I wanted to tell you guys how we're raising our livestock guard dog, our Great Pyrenees puppy. So to start with, we actually had her um, here in, in the yard by the house, uh, but just for a couple of days because almost right away she started chewing on things, carrying things around, making a general nuisance of herself. Uh, but it gave her a chance to see that we're her people and then we moved her out into the shed that you can see there on the right side of your screen. So right now she's in her kennel and she's there for her protection because she's still a puppy. So let's go let her out. Luna. Hi, puppy. Yeah. <laughs> so she's a typical, typical, energetic little puppy. So she get up. She wants, wants to jump and run. And so what I've been doing is taking her, kind of on a short walk. First thing, um, I make that a dual purpose here stay down so right now the cows need some hay because the grass is basically dead so let's grab some hay so we we use the morning and evening chores to help to train her so in the morning like I said I take her out and just walk the pasture with her she does not yet roam around out there by herself too much. She does a little bit. But she mostly spends her time here in the orchard and around the, along the front, which is fine. She's growing fast, really fast. She's gotten so much bigger. Um, still definitely has the puppy ways. She kind of bonded with the cows a little bit. They were up here uh, when she first got here. And so she doesn't really chase them. You know, they, they're suspicious of her because she's a dog. Right, Luna? Okay, let's get this feed to the cows. Holding the little man and some hay is pretty tough. <laughs> So she sees her neighbor who's coming to release the, the ducks. So she takes off. So she does jump on the neighbor some. Um, you know, it's definitely a training thing, but they're working on it. So let's go talk a little bit more about what we feed her. So we decided to go with Taste of the Wild and this is the puppy recipe, of course, because she's a puppy. And it's grain-free. So that was really important to make sure that we get a feed that doesn't have grain in it because dogs aren't supposed to have grain. She does eat the chicken's food, though, so she actually gets a little bit of grain. <laughs> she likes to eat their feed for some reason. So it has these other ingredients. Um, hopefully, you know, they're being honest with us. And this is a... And a small American company, I don't know, globally sourced ingredients, who knows. But uh, it, it's a little bit tough, you know, figuring out um, the, the advertising with dog food. It's a whole other topic. So to give you an idea of how much she eats, this is a 28-pound bag. And she has eaten, this is the third one since we've gotten her in October has these pretty small pellets um, and then hopefully we'll be able to graduate her soon because she is quite a bit bigger now and she's always hungry now it's a challenge to keep her water it's a challenge to keep her water clean but we do our best 
<clears throat> so we come out several times a day to give her feed partly because she dumps it and partly because the birds will come and they'll eat some so we try to only give her as much as she'll eat at a time but she's very active she she has taken to sitting on the on the hay there so she can see and then during the day I'll see if I can catch her today she often spends her time right beside the chicken coop right there with this the small chickens and she'll pretty much hang out there and she hangs out in the corner over there by the, the orange box blade it's a little hard to get footage of her just uh, doing her own thing but you see her out there with the ducks right now she's just looking back and forth checking them out So if she knew I were out here, she'd, you know, be up on the fence. But that's what she, that's what she spends her day doing. Okay, it's time for evening chores. So what I'm going to do is try to sneak up on Luna over there. She sleeps like she's dead. As long as I be quiet. Woke her up. She's slowly waking up. Hi, Luna. How are you doing, puppy? How are you doing? You're a good dog. So she's getting really tall. Her feet are still really big. Um, she's definitely gotten heavier with eating all that dog food. <clears throat> okay, so let's go out here. And I'll show you the one of the last really important things that we do with her. So right now we're moving the fence for the ducks and chickens every day. Reason Part of the reason for that is because the new rye is coming up and we don't want them to uh, to eat it or to kill it. So we actually open up the fence and let her roam around in here and from the first time she so loud they over, overpower the sound and so we do this specifically so that we can observe her and take action if we need to she's right here with me right now not paying too much attention to them she watches them, she listens to them, but she doesn't, hasn't chased them except for one time. So I'm going to set the camera down and get this fence moved. So the kids have a love-hate relationship with the dog. She's definitely an energetic puppy and 
Because of that, she occasionally knocks them down or nips at them. But they've kind of figured it out, and they actually can can be out here for quite a little while. I'm sorry, I saw you pinched your finger. I'm sorry. You want to come out here? So she does this thing where she lies down. And the little man mostly doesn't mind her too much. But if there's food, okay, I gotta go. Since we lost our turkey, we've decided to go back to a scarecrow. So Luna doesn't pay too much attention to the birds, but she's definitely looking for food, so she's going to be all over this stuff, picking through it before the chickens can. Look how silly is that? <laughs> so we've been very pleased with this little dog. She's a, a great addition to the farm. And pretty soon, we're gonna have to say this big dog. So our hope is that by next year, she's gonna be big enough to guard the turkeys from the coyotes. And uh, our new turkeys will be able to guard the, guard the other birds for a long time. Well, it's a beautiful evening. I gotta go finish the chores. Saving Miller out.